Hey, how's it going guys? So I've got a lot of requests on the year review of installing that stove jack. And lucky for us, we do have some rain. Check it out. It's always kind of cool. But obviously it looks good out here. Let's go take a look inside. Hold on. I know you want to do a little independent kid stuff, so back it out like this. Okay, now push it in and then make sure this right here goes in. Keep your hair out of the way. Let go, you could let go now. Go, just go. I got you, kiddo. Pull the trigger. Oh, yeah. So you gotta push down a little bit too. Push, push, push. Yeah, there you go. Okay, all done. Good. Well done. The next one is Ta-da! Now we gotta do a couple more in the back and let's... So here we are setting it up in the front yard. Doing our one year review of the stove jack. And without further ado... Let's take a peek. Do the inspection here. Glue joints still flexible. Permanent, satisfactory, and the fiberglass did take a little bit of the beating, but I did get it a hot a few times, but this stuff is still pliable. Tip top. Did I put a stove jack in? I put in an access port. So as you can see, I have propane and electric going through this area. Nice and waterproof on the underneath. Still good and secure. Let's go take a look on the inside and see what's up. Did the reverse roll on the... On a note of safety, I did use a heavy duty cord and then I also used a heavy duty splitter to run the space heater and of course power electronic devices. All right, I got both heaters going. Well, this one's not quite going. It's kind of noisy. This one's nice and quiet yet very warm. Here's the zip for the inlet ports. I did, uh, after the first night, I noticed how they did theirs, so I did that so it's quiet instead of not so rattly. Keeps things nice and quiet. And then, the stove jack. Nice and dry. Because uh, my sleeping bag is right under it, so I would have got soaked if it wasn't the case being waterproof. Impressive. We're here getting a little bit of snow. How cool is that? Oh wow, look at that. Still going. It's kind of a surprise storm. It's surprise rain and now it's surprise snow. Love it. That's freaking awesome. Guess I should have set up the stove. <laughs> So this one really tests it, so I have power and propane going in the port. No leak on the inside. This 
stove jack, nice and dry. This morning, since the uh, heat was going pretty good, not too much. Had that going all night. Check that out. It's back to being dry again. Good ventilate the tent a bit. Just a little bit. Here and there. While it was storming, it was nice and damp. And you can see where the coat where it's uh, the ice is built up outside and snow. We'll take a look on that so you can see the condensation. Still in the corners where the snow is. So after you saw what you saw, I have another stove jack. Should we do another one on here somewhere? Or should I put it in my other tent? Actually, the first Kodiak I got. Because this one's the second. And now I have...